Hi everyone, welcome to The Explorer. Today we will look at vocabulary, reading comprehension, and grammar. The title of the reading comprehension is A Robbery. Now take out your vocabulary book. Read the passage below. It was just after 7 p.m. The Lee family had just finished having their dinner. After clearing away the dishes, clearing away the dishes, Mrs. Lee joined her son, Ju Chai, who was watching his favorite cartoon program on television. After clearing away the dishes, Mrs. Lee joined her son, Ju Chai, who was watching his favorite cartoon program on television. Mr. Lee was absorbed, absorbed in the newspaper. Mr. Lee was absorbed in the newspaper. Suddenly, the doorbell rang. Mr. Lee peered over the newspaper and gave his wife a quizzical look. Quizzical look. Mr. Lee peered over the newspaper and gave his wife a quizzical look. They were not expecting any visitors. They were not expecting any visitors. Mr. Lee got up to open the door. Just as he unlatched it, unlatched it, two masked men, one armed with a pistol, charged into the house. Just as he unlatched it, two masked men, one armed with a pistol, charged into the house. A bewildered Mr. Lee, bewildered Mr. Lee, quickly put his hands up. The robbers then herded the family into a room. Herded. The robbers then herded the family into a room. The robbers gagged and tied them up. The robbers gagged and tied them up. While one of the robbers held the family at gunpoint, his accomplice took all the jewelry, jewelry and cash and put them into a sack. While one of the robbers held the family at gunpoint, his accomplice took all the jewelry and cash and put them into a sack. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Mr. Lee's eldest son had just returned from his tuition class. He saw that the front door was left ajar a jar. He saw that the front door was left ajar, suspecting that something was amiss, suspecting that something was amiss. He peered into the living room and saw a masked man pointing a gun at his parents. Suspecting that something was amiss, he peered into the living room and saw a masked man pointing a gun at his parents. He ran to a telephone booth across the road and telephoned the police. He ran to a telephone booth across the road and telephoned the police. Within minutes, the police arrived. At the sound of the police siren, siren, the robbers made a desperate, desperate beat to escape. At the sound of the police siren, the robbers made a desperate bid to escape. But the police quickly surrounded the Lim's residence and apprehended the robbers. But the police quickly surrounded the Lim's residence and apprehended the robbers. They freed the family. Freed. They freed the family. Mr. and Mrs. Lee were proud of their son. Through his quick action, through his quick action, the robbers were caught red-handed. The robbers were caught red, red-handed. Through his quick action, the robbers were caught red-handed. Then now write these words into your vocabulary book. 
，把这些字都写进你的 vocabulary book 书里面。Number one, absorb, absorb， 全神贯注，就是很投入的意思。Then write your A sentence. As usual, you can copy from your passage. A sentence: Mr. Lee was absorbed in the newspaper. 就是他很投入在这个报纸上。Now write a B sentence. So if you find speaking too fast, you can pause the video. 觉得太快就把那个 video 可以 pause 它起来。So ready? B sentence. Subject. 我 Subject. 我我投入，我很全神贯注。哎、okay, ，我全神贯注在那个故事书里。That， 直到我没有发现到我妈妈进来我房间。So you can say， 我全神贯注在这个故事书里。That， subject， 我 ，t h a t that， 我没有发现，没有发现就是 didn't realize， didn't realize， 所以我的妈妈进来我房间 ，entered my room。So I repeat, 我全神贯注在那个故事书里，直到我没有发现我妈妈进来我房间。直到的那个意思就是 that that I didn't realize that t h a t that. Okay, this is your B sentence. Next, number two, peered, peered, 凝视 And one more, quizzical look, quizzical look. 好奇的表情。A sentence: Mr. Lee peered over the newspaper and gave his wife a quizzical look. So your B sentence: Subject: 那位老人，那位老人 ，the old man. 透过他的眼镜凝视我们。Okay, peered over his spectacles. And and 给我们一个好奇的表情。I repeat, 那位老人透过他的眼睛凝视着，然后给我们一个好奇的表情。You can look at your A sentence and you can write exactly almost like as your A sentence. Next number three. Unlatch, unlatch, 就是开锁，开锁。A sentence, just as he unlatched it, two masked men, one armed with a pistol, charged into the house. B sentence, 那位小女孩，那位小女孩 ，the little girl, whoop, 开锁，开锁什么？开锁那个门。然后 ，and and 跑出那个家里 ，OK， ran out of the house. Full stop. Number four, bewildered, bewildered, 困惑 A sentence, a bewildered Mr. Lee quickly put his hands up. B sentence, subject, Tom, Tom, 他。很困惑，他很困惑。当他听见有奇怪的声音从他的邻居的家，是、so、subject Tom。Bewildered is not a word, okay? So you have to think you want to use was or you have to use were. So Tom was has a word, 困惑。当他听见奇怪的声音从他的邻居的家，也是叫 B sentence。Number five, get. Gag, 就是堵嘴，不是嘟嘴，是堵嘴，就是讲啊、呃，用东西塞在他的嘴巴里面，所以 that's called 堵嘴，堵在他的嘴巴。So a sentence I will not give you, but you have to find it in your passage and copy it. Okay, this is your a sentence, and then you continue with your b sentence. B sentence ready? Subject. 那些匪徒。Okay, the robbers, the robbers, whoop, 堵嘴，堵嘴，谁呢？就是 John and his mother. 然后绑他们起来 ，tie them up. I repeat, 
那在尾读，堵嘴 ，John 和他的妈妈，然后绑他们起来。Number six, accomplice, accomplice 就是帮凶，帮凶。A sentence, copy it from the passage, and your B sentence. So B sentence. 抢了那那个女士的手提包后 ，so after snatching the lady's handbag, subject 那个骑摩托车的人 ，the motorcyclist 和他的帮凶 and his accomplice 迅速的逃跑了 ，sped off 就是迅速的逃跑 ，sped off. Okay. Suspecting that something was amiss, number seven. 感觉不对劲 Suspecting that something was amiss. A sentence. Then write your B sentence now. 感觉不对劲 Suspecting that something was amiss. Subject. 我的爸爸 Subject. 我的爸爸赶快开门 Okay. Repeat. 感觉不对劲，我的爸爸，赶快开门，不 stop。Number eight, make a desperate bid to escape. Make a desperate bid to escape. 拼命逃跑，拼了命逃跑。Write a sentence and your B sentence now. Subject, 大家 everyone, 大家拼命逃跑。拼命逃跑。当他们听到一个爆炸声，大家拼命的逃跑。当他们听见 explosion 一个爆炸声。Number nine, apprehended, apprehended， 逮逮捕，逮捕。就是抓啦，抓的意思。A sentence, right? And your B sentence. Subject. 那个警察 ，subject. 那个警察，逮捕，逮捕谁？逮捕那些匪徒，然后带他们去警察局 ，police station. Repeat. 那些警察，逮捕那些绑匪徒。然后带他们去警察局。Number ten, last one, caught red-handed. Caught red-handed. 当场被捉。A sentence. Through his quick action, the robbers were caught red-handed. B sentence. 那个保安，保安就是 security guard， 保安。当场捉那位男孩 ，caught the boy red-handed. Caught the boy red-handed 就是当场捉那位男孩。当他摘偷超级市场里的巧克力。I repeat. 那个保安当场捉那位男孩。当他在偷超级市场里的巧克力。Now take up your composition comprehension book. Question number one: Write through or false in the space provided. True, 就是对了。Okay, false 是错的。So you read the two sentences and you're going to write true or false. Okay, first question: The robbery happened in the morning. The robbery happened in the morning. So read the passage again. Did the robbery happen in the morning? Okay. If the answer is yes, then you write true. Okay. If the answer is not correct, then you write false. Second sentence: Mr. Lee's eldest son called the police. Mr. Lee's eldest son called the police. Okay. You write on your own. Whether it is true or false. Okay, you can pause. Tengisya, 
copy the questions, copy the, okay, the questions first and then write the correct answers into your composition comprehension exercise book. Okay, then you continue. Continue with question number two. Question number two asks you to number the following sentences according to the correct sequence. So there are four sentences. So you need to number the sentences. Okay, number one is has been given to you. Okay, number one is given to you. The Lee family had finished dinner at about 7 p.m. So this is the first sentence, number one. So what is the second sentence? Which is the second sentence? Okay, so you have to read the sentences. And then look at your passage and you check. So which comes first? Now you can see in Lee family had finished dinner at 7 p.m. first. Okay, after that, read on your own and you will write number number two, number three, and number four. Question number three. Why do you think Mr. Lee? gave his wife a quizzical look when the doorbell rang. Okay, read the question again. You need to copy this question into your composition comprehension book. Okay, you can pause. Why do you think Mr. Lee gave his wife a quizzical look when the doorbell rang? Okay, the answer is found in paragraph one okay paragraph one so question mark it like a quizzical look when the bell doorbell rang what time was that okay that shows gdn the time you mail uh send out you you run like so you will tie to them out there so it is a male can you run you you cut and we like to go to jenna so you mr lee do can she quite give his wife a quizzical look you find the answer in the passage on your own okay, and write the answer for question number three okay so ask the question with why so of course you start your answer with the word this is because this is because write on your own question number three question number four mr lee quickly put his hands up when the masked man charged into his house, why did he do that? Okay, when you read paragraph two, when he unlatched the door, two masked men charged into his house, right? Okay. And Mr. Lee quickly put his hands up. Now the question asked you, why did he do that? Wish him up. 他放在他的手上来，给了马斯曼的蒙着脸，给那个那个man charge means rush into the house. Yeah, he he put up his hands. He put his hands up. Why? Okay, again you can start your answer with this is because, and you need to think of an answer. Okay, so the answer is not found in the passage actually, but uh, you can think of your own answer and you write try write the answer for this question number five what did the robbers take from mr. Lee's house what did the robbers take from mr. Lee's house see so the robbers subject verb took passes of take is took ask a question with D take without past tense now you use the past tense took Okay, the robbers subject verb took, took, and then give answer took one. Okay, find your answer in paragraph two. What did they take from the house? Question number six. Who went for tuition? Okay, who went for tuition? Find your answer. Who? Okay, very simple. Write your answer. Subject, the person went for tuition. 
Okay, who went for tuition? So write your answer. Question seven. What did he see when he looked into the living room? Okay, what did he see? He refers to the person who just who went for tuition. Okay, so he went for tuition and he came back. What did he see when he looked into the living room? You can, again, you can find this answer in the passage. He saw, and then you write your own answer. He saw what? Find your answer in paragraph 3. Okay, paragraph 3, what did he see when he looked into the living room? Okay, question number 8. Two parts of the question. Did he go into the house? Okay, again, the word he refers to the person who went for tuition. Okay, so did he go? So did he go? So if your answer is yes, yes, he went. Past tense of go went. Or no, he didn't go into the house. Okay, so write your own answer for the first part. And then the second part, tell me what did he do instead? Instead, 就是反而,反而他做什么? The answer is also found in the passage. What did he do instead? 反而他做什么? Go find the answer. He, subject, verb, and then we write your answer. That's for number 8. Question number 9. Last question. Asked you to suggest two ways to protect ourselves from robbery. Okay, two ways to Fangfa. To protect Bahu. Protect is Bahu. Bahu men Okay. Buyabe Dachia from robbery. Robbery is a dachia. So Tanya Bahu Bahu men Tsuchina. Okay, so they are two answers which you have to think and write on your own. So the robbery can be at home or uh, on the road outside. Okay, so it's in the road. Don't be afraid. How to protect ourselves? In the road or in the outside? How to protect ourselves? Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't so we should okay, that's for two ways to protect. Okay, for example, if you are talking about home, okay, in Gai Kai Man Ma, okay, look strangers, strangers just right? So that would be one way to protect ourselves, right? Okay, so when you go out, should you bring a lot of money? Okay, you tai toto the chen, tai toto cash. 出去的时候就比较容易被人家打抢对吗所以怎样摆货完自己就不要带多多钱出去啊或者走路的时候也要走怎么样的路是那些很暗的有 dark ok very dark street or streets with no one on the road 没有人的 那些路我们应该去走去,那些路还是应该走去,那些比较多人的,比较灯亮,比较亮的,有灯光的地方。Okay, these are things that you can think of, okay, write on your own. So when you write, so you always remember, okay, to use a, a we, like for example, subject, we, the woman, okay, then what do you want? Okay, uh, us to do. Okay, that's how we want to protect ourselves. Okay, so think and you write for number nine. Question A, okay, nine A and nine B. So Liangke Fang Fa. Now take out your grammar book too. We will do a very simple revision on the three types of tenses: the simple present tense, simple past tense, and the present continuous tense. Forms of verbs. Now let's take a look at the different forms of verbs at a different time. Okay, so in English, if you look at the verb check, okay, for example, C H E C K check, When you use the word check at a different time, you find that 
it takes a different form. Okay, for example, when you say that 每天 okay or 时常发生 this is habitual action or a fact which means it's simple present tense. You will use check and checks. You ask me, you ask the, 对吗 Okay, that's habitual action or a fact. When the verb is in the past, that is 昨天 okay or two days ago. Okay, yesterday, just now. Okay, this is the past action, and the past action verb means past tense verb. Is past tense of check is check c h e c k e d. It's past tense. And the next one is action happening now. 现在正在发生 It's used is m r with. I N G form is M R checking, so the verb check with I N G. Okay, so you're gonna copy these words into your grammar too. One more B. Okay, write this word into your grammar too. Have present show happy action showing a fact. Have one more with the S. Okay, so please don't write H A V E S. It is H A S. That's has with S. Past tense, past action. Past tense of have. Okay, what is the past tense of have? And the last one. Now. Okay, action happening now. Is M R with the verb with I N G. Okay, the verb with I N G. H A V. Drop the E. Okay, take away the e. So it's h a v i n g. Is m r having? Okay, that's for number three. Try one more. Hide, hide. Present. Happy action showing a fact. 时常发生一个事实 Hide with s. Hides. Past tense of Past tense of hide. 昨天躲 Okay, hide means 躲昨天躲 What is the past tense of hide? Do you know the past tense of hide? Okay, past tense of hide is without the e. Hid, right? Okay, so can you spell? H i d. Yes, the past tense of hide. And the last one is action happening now. Is m r. With the ing, and don't forget when you have hide, the e ends with e. Take away your e, and it is ing only. Is am I hiding? Okay, that's for simple. Uh, this is present continuous tense. Okay, so write c into your grammar book too. Now take up your composition comprehension book. All right. Once you finish, I would like you to take out your workbook, level six workbook, page six. Look at the exercise below, exercise four first. Okay, you can see that there are three different forms of a verb: walk, walks, present, past tense, walked, w a l k e d, and is m r walking. Action happening now. Okay, now let's take a look at A question A. Mr. Lee turned and away. Okay, Mr. Lee turned, 转身然后就走掉 Okay, so what is the verb for this walk? Okay, should you use the present or past or action happening now? So the answer, of course, it is past tense because the word turn, 转身这个 turn is past tense. So Walk must be also in the past because it's already a past action. So your answer is walk. Okay, so write your answer. Probably good handwriting in a space given. Okay, so that's question A. Question B. Question B. The children in the village, a kilometer to school every morning. Can you see the word every morning? So every morning is habitual action. So we use the simple present tense with walk or walks with s or without the s. Okay, so look at the subject. The children, children, so 很多的孩子 Okay, 在那个村的孩子
in the, in the village， 哎，那些孩子，说很多孩子，给在那个村的孩子 in the, ，in the village， 哎，那些孩子，说很多 ，so it's plural subject， use use the plural verb walk without the s， so walk。Without the ass, walk a kilometer to school every morning. Okay, so this is the answer for A and B. Now I would like you to try question C D until I on your own. Just fill in the blanks with the correct form of the verb walk. Okay, right. So once you're finished, then take a look at exercise three. Exercise three, the same page where you are asked to. Rewrite the sentences using the word in the bracket, and the word in the bracket is the base one verb. Okay, one example. Look at A. The passerby told the police what had happened. Okay, and I want you to rewrite the sentences using the word did not. So did not is one of the base one verb. Can could be a word. Shall should do does did may must might ought to need to have to. Okay, so did is one. Okay, now how are you gonna write now? So you will write. Subject again. The passerby. Verb. Did not. See. So after did not, base form. Tell. So don't use told. Don't write told anymore. It's tell. So the passerby did not tell the police what had happened. Okay. So the answer is given, and you can copy this answer into your ex into your workbook. Okay. Level six workbook number one. Okay. Please do. Question number two, three, four, five until number six on your own. Okay, check the meaning of words if you don't know. And that's all for today.